In this example, we'll see how NDS QuickRef can be used by an application programmer to look up the syntax for the COBOL language. Let's go to member demo4, which is a COBOL program. Now when I execute this program, it executes with a zero return code, but it doesn't execute completely. In other words, it doesn't work the way it's designed. So let's look at the procedure division where it performs uh, procedure P0-Mainline. P0-Mainline is an open, accept, perform, compute. And then it should come down to the perform, display, and close. And this is apparently what's not being executed. Now what we need to do is we need to modify the perform to where it executes this entire section instead of just executing a single procedure. So let's look up this syntax on the perform. Now what we do is we put our cursor on, P on the uh, perform keyword and hit uh, our hotkey PF23 which is shift PF11 for me and we find all the perform items in the database. Now this is uh, some of the older versions of COBOL and then we have the COBOL ZOS syntax. So let's take the latest release of the ZOS syntax. Perform statement, and we have uh, the basic perform statement is what we want to look at. It's right here. So um, the basic perform statement contains the word perform, and it has a procedure name. But we need the through parameter, T-H-R-O-U-G-H, which can be abbreviated T-H-R-U through procedure name 2. So that's what we need to do. We need to modify our perform and add the through procedure name 2 um, syntax. So let's PF4 to get out of quick ref. And let's come here to the perform line and add THRU. And we want to go through paragraph P0 close. So let's type P0-CLOSE. And that's what we need to do to fix our program. So let's save and this program is ready to test.